Welcome, sports fans, to the first ever marketing Olympic Games. Today, we have for you a competition that will put the greatest marketing minds of our generation to the test in a series of the most exciting, question-based, marketing challenges ever concocted. There will be three rounds of competition in which each competitor will win a medal of gold, silver, or bronze. The competitor with the winningest medal count at the end of the three rounds will become our first ever marketing Olympic Games. Games champion! Competitors, are you ready? Um, we're recording this on a Monday. Sure, man. yeah, that's what we're doing. I today. said, competitors, are you ready? I yes, was Let's go. Ready. That works. <laughs> Who will become our inaugural marketing Olympic champion? We'll find out soon enough. But first, a word from our sponsor. Today's festivities are brought to you by Moon Rock Burgers and Fries. Moon Rock Burgers and Fries, for when you're hungry for beef but want something that's a little meatier. Welcome to an almost productive coffee break. The same bold flavor of our original podcast brew in a single shot. Perfect for those times when you need a quick marketing pick-me-up. I'm Sean. I'm Julie. I'm Addie. And I'm Ben. And we're all marketing professionals at New Boston Creative Group in Manhattan, Kansas. Our first round of these questions is called A-B testing. For each question in the round, I'll provide a pair of potential answers, A or B. It is your job to guess which is the accurate statement. For every correct answer, you'll receive one point. However, if you happen to stand alone in your choice, while also choosing the correct answer, you will be awarded an additional point for your boldness. Medals will be awarded in order of the total number of points each competitor earns, and to keep y'all honest across all three rounds today, you'll answer at the same time by writing your answer down and presenting them when I cue you, and then I'll have to read your answers aloud one by one for the audience. Y'all ready for round one? I feel like I should have studied, but I'm, I'm ready. You didn't have to. You, mm. you, you, saw, you know that you're the greatest marketing minds of the generation. What if we all get none wrong? I mean, what if we all got none right? <laughs> <laughs> you could all get tied for bronze. <laughs> that would be fantastic. I actually like that idea. A... <laughs> okay, I'm ready. No, I mean, for this first one, too, you got a 50 50 chance. So, like, I encourage you to be the standalone sure. person. In case it's, yeah, okay. Yes. Okay. Um, if, especially if you're feeling bold. Number one, according to data from Statista in 2023, blank was the most used social network worldwide. A, X, formerly known as Twitter, or B, Facebook. Y'all ready? Present your answers. So I went with B. Okay, we got a B from Sean. I also said B. I said B. You are all correct. As of 2023, Facebook had over 3 billion monthly active users compared to X's 421 million. It's not even close. (laughs) Number two, from the HubSpot State of Marketing Report, 96% of marketers agree that the optimum length of a marketing video should be under blank minutes. A, 10 minutes, or B, six minutes. And we'll reveal our answers in three, two, one. What do you got there, Sean? I have a B. Perfect. I also have B. Hattie's got a B. B. And Julie has a B. The correct answer was A, 10. Oh. Only 4% suggested an optimal length of 10 minutes or higher. 36% of video marketers believe the optimal length for a video is between one and three minutes. 27% say the optimal length is four to six, and 15% say it's seven to nine, meaning that a total of 96% of them agree that it's less than 10 minutes. Gotcha. Yes. <laughs> ah, trick question. I know. Tricky. And that was from the HubSpot State of Marketing Report. They phrased it that way. I just took it from them. <laughs> I like that. That's funny. Number three. And back to our friends at Statista, the number of global social media users is expected to reach blank in 2025. A, 4.2 billion, or B, 5.1 billion. Tough one, head scratcher. Okay, reveal your answers in three, two, one. 
Sean, you have? A. Oh, I have B. Eddie has B. A. And Julie has A. The correct answer was B, 5.1 million. The current number is estimated at 5.04 billion, which is 62.3% of the global population. Wow. Oh, my gosh. We live in a weird world. Uh, but with that in mind, it seems that there is a two-way tie for uh, silver medal for this round between Sean and Julie. And the winner of this round, our gold medalist, is Addie. Oh, wow. A dream come true. I'd like to thank my parents for supporting me on this journey. A new Boston creative group. I don't think thank there's time parents. for speeches, guys. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Sorry. Play the music. Get her off. Play. <laughs> So right now in the lead, the medal counts are one gold medal for Addy, two, and yeah, you each have one silver medal. We don't have to do the medal count every time. Let's just cut that, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Round two, our second event, is called Identify the Acronym. Every sphere of the working world has got their own jargon, including acronyms. Today, you'll be put to the test to see if you know what these common marketing acronyms stand for. For every correct answer, you will receive one point. Like last round, medals will be awarded in order of the total number of points earned in the round. Y'all ready? Yep. In our podcast episode about building your online presence, Julie defined the concept of SEO for us. What does SEO stand for? So we'll reveal answers in three, two, one. Sean, what did you got? I went with the uh, search engine optimization. Amazing. Addie? Same for me. Julie? Same. Nice. Cro points across the board. Next, analytics are an important part of figuring out what digital pathways your audiences are using to get to your campaign, web page, etc. One of these analytics is CTR, which stands for what? Okay, we'll reveal answers in three, two, one. What do you got, Sean? Click through rate. Addie? Same here. Julie? Yeah. <laughs> what are y'all working in marketing? This is crazy. Number three, rather than making your audience write down or copy a link, marketing campaigns will often use QR codes that are easily scannable with most smartphone cameras. What does the QR in QR code stand for? Okay, we all in? Sean, what did you write? I wrote quite ridiculous. Uh, close, <laughs> very close. Yeah. Yeah. Addie? I put Qualtric route. Ooh, interesting. Bold of you, but not not correct, sadly. <laughs> Julie. Quick response. It is quick response code. That is correct. Julie moves into first place <laughs> with three points to each of everybody. We don't have to do the score counts. I don't know why I keep doing that. <laughs> Julie's winning. That much we know. Julie takes the lead. Here's our final question of the round. When publishing our podcast online, producer Nick uses an RSS feed to post new episodes across multiple platforms at once. What does the RSS and RSS feed stand for? Okay, y'all ready? Reveal your answers. Sean. Real simple syndication. Ooh, Very, I said yeah. something ahead, similar. Ed. Really slow silo. <laughs> I love that. Uh, I also had real simple syndication. Uh, from what I found, it is really simple syndication, but okay. I'm going to give that to you all because it's very, very close. Thank you. I might be wrong. There might be different ways of saying it. So I think you're right. At the end of the round, we have winning the bronze medal, Addie, silver medal, Sean. Two for two. <laughs> and with the gold, we have Julie. Yay. I'd like to thank Addie's parents. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, what did I say about speeches? We don't have time. <laughs> Do we get a national anthem? Do we get a flag? I think in the closing ceremonies, we get to do the ash the national anthem instead of the per, right. per event. And you get to pick which, which nation yeah, you like. You can pick whatever nation you like. Yeah. That's I'm sure that won't get us in trouble. Chad. <laughs> Chad. <laughs> just a song by a guy named Chad off of Spotify that has like four listens on it. <laughs> Our third and final round is called Surprising Statistics. I'll read to you a statistic related to marketing and you will fill in the blank with the number you think makes the most sense. It gets closest to the actual number will receive three points, second will receive two, and third place will receive one. I need to grab a pen. 
because I forgot that I have to keep score on this <laughs> one. There are three questions on this one, uh, but if we somehow need a tiebreaker at the end of the challenge, I have an additional standalone surprising statistic question as the tiebreaker. Number one, Instagram posts that contain faces get blank percent more likes than those without faces. And there's no going over or under, it's just, just closest. Closest. Yeah. closest. What was, it? what was it again? Sorry. Instagram posts that contain faces get blank percent more likes than those without faces. Okay, reveal your answers. Sean, what'd you get? What was 70? 70. Addy? Oh, <laughs> I said seven. Seven? Ooh, okay. okay. This, uh, <laughs> e. And Julie. <laughs> <laughs> Which one of us is way off? <laughs> 52. 52. Oh, no. The correct answer was actually 38%, meaning that Julie is in first and then Addie's second closest. Yes, Addie is second closest and Sean is third closest with one point. AKA farthest. I'm sorry, that's so mean. <laughs> I did not mean to trash no, talk that's okay. you, Sean. <laughs> I just push the microwave and leave. <laughs> Number two, the average blog post length is blank words more than 70% longer than 10 years ago. This is from a study from 2023. The average blog post length is blank words more than 70% longer than 10 years ago. All right, everyone, reveal your answers. Really hate going first on these. Sean? I went with 300. 300. <laughs> Addy? I, I said 1,500. Incredible. Another round of <laughs> the spread. <laughs> 750. 750. The correct answer was 1,427 words, which wow. puts Addy what? in first, closest in that question, and then Julie, and then Sean. Okay, for our third and final surprising statistic, blank percent of marketers leverage podcasts or other audio content as a part of their strategy. How unique are we is the question. What percentage of marketers leverage podcasts or other audio content as part of their strategy? And this is from 2024. Reveal your answers. I went with 3%. 3%. Okay. Addy? I said 35%. 35 And Julie? 27%. 27%. The correct answer was 25%, mm -hmm. which puts Julie as closest. Addy shortly after. Yeah, we can just cut this part. Sorry. I'm just doing math. <laughs> Welcome to I calculus. Think it's funny how Sean and Addie were consistently <laughs> yeah, I had no, higher or lower. You all were extremes. Yeah, and I, was I had no good foundation for the any middle. of these numbers. They're surprising yeah. statistics. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm <me> shocked. <laughs> we're all bamboozled. Uh, okay. So for this round, Sean has earned the bronze medal, Addie, silver, and Julie, the gold. In third place, with two silver medals and three bronze, Sean Dryden. In second place. Wait, what did you say? What did you say? Two silver, three bronze? Or Well, no, that's not right. Right. One, one bronze. One bronze. See, I, you keep me honest. I was like, wait. I'll give you a gold medal for that. How many get, yeah. Have I blocked out some of the rounds? <laughs> right. Yeah, we, we, the we rounds, did 17 and I rounds. I still didn't do well. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was thinking three total, and my mm. brain just wrote yeah. three. In third place, with two silver medals and one bronze, Sean Dryden. I want to blame Addie's parents for this, because <laughs> they were never there for me. What did I say about speeches? In second place, with one gold medal, one silver, and one bronze, Addie Justice. I thought we said no speeches. No, so you I'm, can give a speech. It's fine. I don't, I'm but not... I wasn't allowed to give mine. <laughs> Which means that with two gold medals, one silver, 
our inaugural marketing Olympic champion of 2024 is Julie Fiedler. <laughs> Julie, do you have anything you'd like to say to the public after your historic win? <laughs> That's one small click for the UTM, one giant conversion for the campaign. Wow, that was incredible. <laughs> that was, was inspiring. Thank you for listening to this episode of Almost Productive. Before we go, we'd like to give a shout out to our producers, Nick and Molly, who work behind the scenes to make this podcast possible. If you'd like to learn more about what we do at New Boston Creative Group, you can reach us at newbostoncreative.com. You can also follow us on social media at New Boston Creative on Instagram and New Boston Creative Group on Facebook and LinkedIn. If you like this episode, please like, follow, subscribe, leave a review, and share the podcast with your friends. And if you didn't like the show, feel free to recommend us to your enemies. Tune in next time for some more office shenanigans, thoughts on trending topics, and marketing adjacent insights. Until next time, we hope you have a productive day. Yeah, I'm getting that tattooed, that one click, one yeah. whatever Julie said. <laughs> one click that was, with a UTM. I like, yeah, man. <laughs> I like it. Right over my heart.